Hello and welcome to this AVLAN review of the CAF R700 floor stone loudspeakers. We're going to talk to you about the different technologies and features of these loudspeakers as well as what they sound like and what they like to listen to on a day-to-day -day basis. The R700s from CAF are in the middle of their floor standing range. They, um, they, they have above them the R7, R900s above the 700s and the R500s below. But uh, of the range, I think they're my favourite speaker. They're the most well balanced um, speaker out of the lot of them. Yeah, they're a good all round sound. They come in four different finishes. This is the high gloss black, but there's also a white finish, a walnut, and a rosewood finish. Now, a lot of the technology that's gone into these comes from their Blade speakers, which are their sort of flagship product. And they have a, a UniQ mid-range uh, drive unit uh, with a, a, a one-inch aluminium dome tweeter. Um, here you can see the actual base drive unit moving. It moves quite a bit. Um, and it's got a very odd sort of way of moving. It almost looks like it's wobbling, uh, but it's not. I think it's, it's like an optical illusion, uh, but very stiff drive units. Um, they, this is the mid-range unit you can see here with the tweeter on the inside uh, and it's quite good at this price point as well to have actually have something that's got a, uh, a dedicated mid-range uh, and it really does uh, make a lot of sense uh, and, you know, because it, it, the vocals you get from these speakers uh, are just absolutely brilliant but they've also got the bass to back that up you know they're very very good the cabinet uh, separate shelves in it as well for the different drive units you can see there the different ports at the back for the different uh, parts of the cabinet the uh, spikes at the bottom uh, are very easy to adjust uh, these uh, they have these sort of standout feet that could, you have to screw onto the bottom of the cabinet uh, but you can undo this and uh, you know adjust the, the heights are how you want it. Come with, it comes with an Allen key in the box, so you can do that. They are rated at 200 watts. They're magnetically shielded, uh, and they also have quite high uh, bandwidth as well. So um, you know, for super audio, CD, and DVD audio, uh, they have magnetic grills, but we've chosen not to picture them. They don't look very good. The grills, we're not very uh, enamoured with those. So um, they look be much better with the grills off. Here are the different finishes: the rosewood and the walnut. Uh, finish. These are the different speakers in the ranges of the R100s, but it gives you an idea of what the finish is like. It's not a gloss finish; it's a sort of satin, uh, silky finish. And they, you know, but in the gloss finish though, they do look absolutely fantastic. And you know, they'll fit in a sort of modern uh, setting, you know, contemporary sort of um, styling into your, of your room. They'll, they'll look very, very slick. Um, as does the white finish, which uh, they only recently. Uh, released that it wasn't uh, available at launch um, now the terminals here at the back uh, you can have them bi wired or single wired and they have quite a novel way of actually linking the two together if you're just single wiring um, you, you you use these uh, little the, the, you see that with the little yellow rings around um, if they're out like that that means you're bi wiring but if you actually turn them clockwise um, it um, it means that they, they join together uh, so that you just single wire. Uh, but it's you know quite important as well if you buy amp uh, that you actually undo these and that they, you know that, that they're separate. Um, the back binding posts come with the little bungs in, which is pretty standard now. But you can prise these bung bungs out and use uh, banana plugs, or you can unscrew and use uh, spade connectors or bare wire. See, there's a hole drilled through the binding post there for you to put uh, bare wire on. Uh, and that's how you take the bungs out as well. You can see that hole that's through the centre there. That normally comes with a little plastic bung in there, which you can just easily remove. So have a quick look round here. The cabinet, you can see, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're very, very lovely. They're quite tall as well. They're sort of over a metre tall. Now, pros and cons. Pros, they are absolutely fantastically well balanced uh, you know for their size as well uh, they're not very difficult to drive they're quite easy to drive and they're just good all-round sound the mid-range the treble the bass it, it's all there uh, it's what you would expect from a, a speaker at this price point cons the only thing I can really think of is the dust covers don't look very nice so you know that's the only thing uh, you know and really 
you don't need them. They look best without the dust covers. Uh, but pr but on the other side, the sound quality from these is absolutely fantastic. And I've not heard anything else at this price point as good as these. They, they really are the best buy at the price. And the, the hi-fi um, reviews of them in different magazines uh, have has been very, very positive too. So, you know, it's not just us saying it. Other, you know, the, the actual press is saying these are the ones to go for. So I, I thoroughly recommend these. That's the end of our review of the KFR 700 loudspeakers. If you'd like to see more information on these speakers, or you'd like to see more video reviews, please visit our website, avland.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.